Well, boys, we did it. We somehow survived 100 days on the hellscape that is Ark Survival Evolved. Somehow me and my negative 2YQ brain didn't get me stuck in the tree branch somewhere or teabagged by a pack of Trudons. You would think that would be the end of it. We survived till day 100. We beat a boss straight out of some SCP fan fiction. At this point, we could just fly out to the local Papa John's, pick us up a nice family-sized pizza with the boys, hop on a shiny Charizard, and fly off into the sunset. But this isn't any of that fairy tale shenanigans. This is Ark, dammit. We don't have time for fairy tales and happiness. The only thing we have time for is going another 100 days because we still have yet to complete our goal of becoming the big daddy cheese of the island. And in order to do that, we still need to beat the Alpha Broodmother, Monkey, Dragon, Alpha Tech Cave, Alpha Overseer, and then beat the final boss of the island, the Bronze Kneecap. Wait, who added that last part? So without further ado, it's time to go another 100 days and finish what we started. Ah, day 100. Man, that feels weird to say. And to celebrate this glorious day, we went straight to grinding because we, we have a lot of stuff to do. So the first thing I did was grab Terrence and we went out on a metal run. And let's just say we had to go pretty far out to find this metal. And since my luck with this game is so good, we were attacked. By a, by a scorpion. Look at this dude. Now, buddy, I'm gonna be real with you real quick. Did you not see the first 100 days? We just got done taking down Arachnophobia Incarnate. You may have been a threat once, back on like day five, but now, now you're just as threatening as a pool noodle or a level five Bidoof. Get out of here. And once we were done dealing with the local population, we got more metal and left back home for base. And uh, remember when I said we had to go pretty far to get this metal? Yeah. It's gonna take a long time to get back home to base. But we did make it back home after like 500 years, and the rest of the day was just been farming some basic resources. Day 101, we went back to the grind of trying to get more Spino mutations. But since this is Ark and this game hates me, we did not get any of the mutations we were looking for. However, this did allow me to get our boy Steve more leveled up because we're gonna be needing this boy help very soon so after leveling up our boy Steve on a daily diet of spinos help me, help me. we were finally able to get the spino mutation we were looking for but let's just say the color mutation was a, a little interesting looking like someone blended up a Christmas tree and a bottle of fuzzy leprechaun and just doused the lad but it was a melee mutation so it gets a pass for now. So now that we have some time to kill, I made up some much needed scuba gear because our next adventure is gonna be in the sea again. And the reason for this is because we need to track down the apex predator, the undertaker of the sea, the Kraken or Alpha Tuso. Eh. And the reason we're hunting down this boy is because we need its eye to fight the Alpha Dragon. Not sure why I need to get an eye from an overcooked piece of calamari to fight a goddamn dragon, but Ark never made any sense to begin with. And so the search for the Alpha Tusa was on, but it got shortly interrupted because a wild Alpha Mosa decided it wanted all the smoke and attacked. But at this point, this guy, he ain't no threat. About as threatening as that scorpion, except this guy's been hitting the juice training for this moment bought itself a pair of anchor arms only to get smacked down by an overgrown sea sausage get out of here and so for the next two days we searched high and low for the alpha tuso but little did i know just how rare these things actually are about as rare as a mcdonald's ice cream machine working so i resorted to just mindlessly wandering around the sea for two whole days and this got so boring i just turned my brain off but ark has a cruel sense of humor because as soon as I lost all hope in finding this boy, I spotted him. Just chilling in a corner. Mans was busy licking the walls, twiddling his 
tentacles. Probably was busy playing multiverses. Man's probably a shaggy main as well. But it doesn't really matter now because we now have to fight what very well could be the strongest creature in the sea. The Alpha Tuso. Oh great. And the Megalodon Posse is here as well. You guys can die. Oh nope, it's fighting back now. How much is it doing? Oh man, it's doing a lot. I need to get behind this thing. Oh my god, that thing is huge, dude. Look at it. Oh, I think it's coming back. Oh yep, it's coming back. Alright, let's end this, buddy. And as the Tuso trapped itself, me and my Basilo delivered the final killing blows. And that's how you do it, boys. Alpha Tuso taken down. It only took about five years because it kept on squirting on me. The man's was probably eating Chipotle, extra spicy burrito, while I was just chilling in that corner. But with the Alpha Tuso down, we now have all the Alpha Drops we need to fight all the bosses. Or do we? And with the Alpha Tuso defeated, there was only one more obstacle stopping us from being able to take on all the Alpha bosses. The Ice Cave. And oh boy, let me tell you why this cave makes watching Dragon Ball Evolution on loop look like fun in comparison. So first you have these guys, the polar bears. These guys are the muscle of the cave, the boys that deal the damage. It's like if you grabbed the grizzly bear, gave it some of that good old G fuel, and strapped it up. Then you got these guys, the yetis. With the amount of hits it takes to bring these things down, I would expect them to reveal themselves to be a fat Pikachu in disguise, or the crimson chin would explain why they have so much health. It's because of that big red chin. And to top it all off you got these abominations right here now if i'm being honest i don't know what went through wildcard's head when making these things i mean this is coming from the same studio who thinks the term easy means playing halo 2 with one hp you know fun stuff but this is why we've got our boy steve all leveled up because with cryopods you can bring these guys into the cave to help make it easier so i spent most of the day preparing some heavy artillery i also got my fur armor because like I said, it's the ice cave, not the tropical resort cave. Now, even with all the stuff we have, the fur armor, the heavy artillery, my boy Steve, and enough guns that would even make the Terminator jealous, I still don't know if we are fully ready to take on this cave. Because I'ma be honest, this is probably the hardest cave in this game. But if we want to prove our worth and take on all the alpha bosses, we have to beat this cave and grab the artifact. So without further ado, and no more stalling, Let's do this. Okay. Get on, get on. Oh, no. Oh, look at that shit. Oh, oh my god, there are so many. Okay. Just keep backing up. Oh my god. Oh, holy, 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 holy. That is a lot of bears. Oh, dude, these yetis are going to be an issue. They are just so tanky. Oh, yep. Oh, 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 back away, back away. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, it's a good thing I caught that guy at the last second. We got a bear coming in, we got Yogi Bear. Take it out, take it out. Oh, it hits hard. Oh my god, it hits hard. And after fighting our way through waves and waves of bears, wolves, yetis, these things, Steve and I ventured deeper into this cave, constantly being on our toes in case some prehistoric honey badger tries to jump us. And that fear was proven true, because apparently they now learned how to fly. Hey yo, what the Wildcard just couldn't leave well enough alone, could they? No, no, no. Apparently, it wasn't bad enough to have these things scattered around the entire cave. Ready to RKO you out of nowhere. They had to go out to the local Walmart and buy it a jetpack for $50. It's the only thing that makes sense. I mean, they don't got no wings on them. But thankfully, we brought the heavy artillery so we don't have to worry about any RKO shenanigans. So once we got past them, it was just a matter of playing things smart and slow as we continued on our quest for the artifact and we would also use this time to plunder the cave of all its loot drops and after a little while we made it to the final stretch of the cave so me and my big brain decided to use a tactical rocket to lure all the remaining creatures into the freezing cold water and after a bit more fighting we were finally able to secure the artifact we needed oh boy that was probably the hardest cave we had to do and it wasn't because of all the bears and yetis and wolves. No, it was because of these little shits right here. 
But none of that matters now, because we were able to beat this cave, grab the artifact, and escape with our very lives. So once I made it back to base, I did the only logical thing I could think of, which was to make more gunpowder, because the million dollar boys need their million dollar weapons. No army of mine won't go into battle without their trusty shotguns and fifty dollar jetpacks. Day 106, we continued breeding our spinos for mutations, and it didn't take me long at all until we got another spino mutation which just happened to be in melee yes more melee soon the Krabby Patty formula will be ours and since we have some free time the next thing I did was go back to the artifact of the clever cave because we need to get the artifact in order to fight the alpha brood mother this cave was going to be the ultimate test you thought the ice cave was the hardest cave I lied because this cave is easy as shit. Yeah, we pretty much just ran in there, grabbed the artifact, and ran right out of there. But our next cave wasn't going to be as easy, because we once again returned to the lava cave. And just like before, we need to treat this cave with respect, because one wrong move, and we're dead. So Barry and I just took our sweet time getting to the artifact, grabbing it, and then getting the hell out of there. Rather not Barry and I get turned into a well-done piece of beef and after that i went back into the ocean because i wanted to find me a deep sea loot crate because they have the chance of giving you a real good fabricated sniper rifle at this point in the game i can't be using some primitive weapons to fight the alpha bosses it would be as effective as trying to fight the alpha dragon with nothing but a water pistol so after a little while searching around i got myself a really good fabricated sniper rifle arc i love you and I have never said anything mean about you. Day 107, we returned back to base and made us some more cementing paste. At this point, we got enough paste we could end up making an entire skyscraper or a limited edition Batman figure from 1997. I also made some ammo for our new sniper rifle and tested it out with the help of the local population. No, that's a lot of damage! Yeah, I say this was completely worth it. And the next thing I did was grab our boy Tony and go out to farm us some obsidian. And let me just say, this lad is an absolute machine. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. Man has a literal chain chomper strapped to his back. Construction workers should just stop using wrecking balls and just go on down to the local dollar store and just pick up one of these guys. Day 108, we went back to everybody's favorite activity. Spino mutations! But the good news is we got a spino mutation right away. The bad news, it wasn't in health or melee. Ark, I hate you. But Ark redeemed itself because we got another mutation. But, once again, not what we needed. I know my luck is shit, but come on! Someone at wildcard has to be fucking with me, flicking on and off the mutation switch. It's because I made fun of that scorpion, isn't it? Day 109, Ark came through for us because we got another melee mutation for our spinos. So with that free time, I went to go farm us some loot drops. I went to the easy water cave thinking it was going to be a nice and peaceful adventure but what I saw there was horrifying what the hell is this mana doing hey, yo, what the fuck? how is it flying above water hell how is it flying in general it don't got no wings and I don't see no jetpack on it so I did nature's job and put everything back to normal we don't need no flying manas around here but after dealing with that something not so shocking happened we got terrible loot Again, so I spent the rest of the day just gathering hide with my spino. Day 110, and I decided I want to see just how strong our spinos could be, fully raised up. So after getting myself a level 280 male, I spent the rest of the day raising this beefy boy up. I also started making some of our spino saddles, but since this is an ascendant tier saddle, it is going to be extremely expensive. I know it's an ascendant saddle, but Come on! Why does it need so much paste? Hell, forget the paste. Why does it need so much pearls? Is the Spino a runway model now? Or did I miss the memo that in order to beat the Alpha Broodmother, you need a Spino that's more dripped out than Mr. T? So after only being able to craft five saddles, I spent the 
rest of the day testing out our newly raised up Spino. Day 111, we continue getting more mutations to get our Spino army even stronger. So with the extra mutation we got, we set out to find ourselves a female frog. Because if I'm going to be using a frog to farm me some cementing paste, it's going to be an imprinted one. Still not sure how a frog can just whip out its tongue and turn a whole bug into a pile of paste. The lad secretly a cement mixer or new modeled fruit ninja extra sharp blade day 112 and i finally found myself a real good level frog hey that's pretty good so i brought it back to base and knocked it out and after a little while of just sitting around waiting we were finally able to feed this frog some kibble and it was ours i then got the two frogs breeding together and not long after that we finally got our first pair of baby frogs so now the only thing left to do was raise these boys up but not before i named one of them kermit gotta do it for the culture and to wrap up the day i tried my luck with some loot drops you know, it's loot like this that makes me wonder, why do I even try anymore? Day 113, we continued our quest of getting more Spino mutations, but our quest does come with some interesting side effects, such as our Spino now looking like a rainbow threw up all over him. If that rainbow was limited to three colors... Ignoring that though, we decided our next adventure was going to be breaking in Kermit by heading into the Swamp Cave. But since I didn't want to die horribly, I brought Big Bertha as the bodyguard of the group. And with everything all set, it was time to see if breeding up our boy Kermit was worth it. Okay, well with that showing I can safely say Kermit is a 10 out of 10 grade A 100% unit And with that showing the rest of the day was spent farming us more cementing paste and farming up some obsidian Day 114 was a day of you guessed it more farming It started out with us making more polymer then the rest of the day was spent in the north to <clears throat> Ask for the penguins organic polymer and after getting all the organic polymer from the local penguin population, we then went home to make more cementing paste. Day 115, we continued to gather more hide with our Spino, along with pumping out more Spino mutations that would put Pokemon to shame. We also went back to the Swamp Cave to farm more cementing paste, and with the combination of Kermit as the Gatherer, and Big Bertha as the dashing young rogue, we were able to clear this cave no sweat wet and by the end of it we got a good haul of cementing paste day 116 we once again farmed more hide at this point we can just forget making saddles we have enough hide to supply an entire biker gang or one chris jericho jacket so in order to spice things up we uh we got another spino mutation yay day 117 we went back to the easy water cave but not for the typical robin the cave of all its valuables instead we were looking to gather all the silica pearls this cave had to offer which is pretty much the same thing damn it but once we were done with that it was back to looking for more spino mutations which we got in the form of this level 2 9 to spino the lad looking like it just came out of a tron movie or doing a cosplay as a prehistoric green lantern and the rest of the day was just spent farming some fiber and more hide. Day 118, me and the boys, Kermit and Bertha, went back to the swamp cave to farm us more cementing paste. And just like before, the man produces. These bugs are all like level 400, but all Kermit sees as lightweight. Man swings his tongue, and that level 400 bug is turned into a sandcastle. Forget all this fancy construction equipment. Hell, forget the fruit ninjas. Just go out and get one of these guys right here so once we were done in the swamp cave the rest of the day was just spent going on a metal run with my boy terrence and gathering up some wood to make some gunpowder because you can never 
have enough guns like a real American. Day 119. Yeah, I can't even get excited about today. It started out with me leveling up Karen. Just wanna be quiet about all the other dinos getting all the attention, all the level ups, drinking their juice. And she wanted some of that. Well, maybe I would use you more if you didn't have the strength of a house plant. But that wasn't all because Art continued trolling me with all these cool looking mutations. But none of them had the stats I was looking for. So you know what? Fuck this. Fuck day 119. Because on day 120, we finally got the Spino mutation we were looking for. And to celebrate this stroke of good luck, we farm some hide. Because I love farming hide. So after like five minutes of farming hide, so after like five minutes of farming some hide, I left to go do another loot drop run. And this time it was worth it because I got these bad boys right here. Now these are what I call some heavy duty boots right here. And with that good luck, I left the cave. Day 121, I made myself a mind wipe tonic. The reason for this is because once you consume this weird purple liquid, you reset all your stats back down to zero. And once I did this, I was gonna pump all my stat points in the crafting skill. And the reason for this is because I have a lot of good stuff to craft. And I want the best of the best, the million dollar weaponry, none of that primitive shit but this is where my big brain comes into play because you guessed it i forgot to record all of it so if you want to know what happened here you go i made all these really good spino saddles made all of this good gear as well hell i even made myself a better boomstick and forgot to record all of it yay yeah, so that didn't go to plan, but it's okay because a wild parasaur volunteered to help me test out my new boomstick now that is what I call a boomstick. No overgrown spiders or roided up Nintendo characters are gonna mess with me now. Day 122 started out in the swamp cave with me and my boy Kermit farming us up more cementing paste. Yes, get me all the paste. Come to the dark side, Kermit. And once we were done farming up some cementing paste, we were turned home and grabbed our scuba gear because our next adventure was gonna be searching for an anglerfish. The reason for this is because because these boys, when tamed, can farm up silica pearls like no other. And so the search for a good level angler fish was on. Day 123, we finally found ourselves a good level angler fish. So now it was all a matter of shooting this guy with a bunch of trank arrows. Till he ends up looking like Patrick after he's had one too many beers. And finally knocked it out. And now, we wait. Day 124, and we're still waiting. But it didn't take me much longer until we got our anglerfish. Now, while these guys are good at farming silica pearls, they're kinda squishy. These boys aren't built for fighting. They're not built for scrapping. They're built for gathering silica pearls. But clearly, I didn't care about this because I decided it would be a good idea to pick a fight with a pack of mantas. Let's just say things went south very quick. Oh. Showed. Oh, there goes the anglerfish I just spent so long trying to tame. Whoo! That was way too close. And now I just lost the anglerfish I spent the whole day looking for. So now I have to go on the search again for another anglerfish. But Ark showed mercy upon me by gifting me this 125 anglerfish. But uh, remember when I said these guys were very squishy? God, I'm so good at this game. But thankfully, Ark once again showed mercy on my dumbass, and we found ourselves a 150 anglerfish. And so we spent half of day 125 just following this boy around, shooting it with enough trank arrows that would put even the big show to sleep, and finally knocked it out. Then we just sat around for a little while, waiting until it finally woke up, and when it did, we put it into a cryopod. Day 126, and we tested this bad boy 
out, farming us some silica pearls. And may I say, this guy was worth all the pain. Look at all these pearls right here. Got enough right here to start my own jewelry company. Can call it The Clamps. Yeah, I'm not really good with names. But the next thing I did that I am good at was getting to work on my Spino Army. Now, while these boys right here are strong, independent Spinos, I'm still gonna be on the lookout for more health and melee mutations because I still need them to be stronger to fight the Alpha Monkey and more importantly, the Alpha Dragon. But at this moment, with a daily diet of imprinting and strong juice, these boys should have what it takes to take on the Alpha Brood Mother. Day 127 was spent imprinting our Spino Army, doing some renovating on our breeding pen. Gotta keep it nice and spiffy, gotta do that spring cleaning, and farming up more paste with Kermit. And uh, that was it. This is starting to become a trend. Day 128, and we continued with everybody's favorite activity. Raising up more of the lean, mean, bicep flexing, boss fighting, Spinos of the world. And when we weren't doing that, we were leveling up more Spinos. Again. But leveling up Spinos is easy. It's not like it's gonna take us the next 12 days. Well, it turns out it did take all 12 days because raising and leveling up dinos takes a long time. So, for the next 12 days, all I did was just continuously level up my spinos every single day. Another thing that I decided to do was start using the dino storage mod. And if you're not familiar with it, it's pretty much a better version of cryopods. It's like if you had the option at the beginning of every Pokemon game to just skip the Pokeball and go right to the master balls. I know some people may think it's a bit cheaty, but honestly, I've proven at this point I can make an endless amount of off-brand Pokeballs, so I don't think it's too bad. There's also a certain point in which I'm gonna be needing to use these boys, if I even get that far. And so with that out of the way, we continued to grind out leveling these lads up, and at some point we ended up consuming the weird purple liquid and crafted up the rest of the Spino saddles, and then it was right back to leveling. And when we weren't leveling, we were gathering hide. I ended up using my Therizino because these boys are the best at gathering hide. And that's not too surprising. After all, these boys are equipped with big, meaty claws. And so this process of leveling up Spinos and hide gathering continued on. And to make things even easier, I made myself a soul terminal, which is just an extra way of storing up more Spino eggs. And eventually on Day 140, after getting all our boys leveled up, all the while making sure we continue to get some health and melee mutations, we were finally ready to take on the Alpha Brood Mother. We spent all 140 days preparing for this moment, breeding up all these Spinos to prove we are ready to fight all the Alpha bosses. And like every great journey, we have to start somewhere. And so I packed up my army of Spinos and set out for Green Obelisk. And once we finally arrived at Green Obelisk, we then spent the rest of the day trying to get all my Spinos on that stupid, small platform. Why? Why does it have have to be so small. But thankfully, I was able to fit all these boys onto the platform. And well, this is it. No more putting it off. No more stalling. It's time to prove our worth and take down the Alpha Brood Mother. Uh, I might be hyping this thing up a bit too much. I mean, we were able to beat the Beta Brood Mother, and our Spinos are far stronger than any mutated sloth. This shouldn't be a challenge for me and my Spino army. At least, that's what I hope. The plan for this fight was a two-step plan. Chuck all our Spinos at it, and hope for the best. Yeah, that's pretty much all I was able to come up with for this boss fight. Will it be enough? Only one way to find out. Don't focus on me, boys. Focus on her. Oh, okay. We're doing good so far. Oh my god, we are actually shredding her. And why does the boss fight look so weird right now? Come on, boys. Hold tough. 
Hold tough, boys. Look at that numbers pouring in. Oh my god, they're all hitting in that bipedal form too, which is so crucial. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking do it. We're gonna do it. Come on, boys! Oh my god, she's going down. Before this video continues, I'm gonna do you guys a solid. You're gonna wanna turn your volume down a little bit. Whoa! Hell yeah! Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. Wow, you guys took a beating. Holy hell, our Spino Army did it. We did it! Hell yeah! Oh, oh my pits be sweaty. His arms are sweaty. <laughs> 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 well boys what's left to say except we fucking did it our first alpha boss has been taken down it only took us 141 days but we did it and then celebration i took a victory lap around the entire island because who boy i needed to calm myself down after that and to grab some deodorant as well because man my pits be sweaty and to finish off the rest of the day we farmed up more hide and grabbed ourselves a loot drop why do i even bother with these things Day 142 started out with the only way I could think of, by giving myself a haircut. After all, I can't be walking around like I'm some prehistoric homeless man. But in all seriousness, we need to start collecting up our hair, so I can eventually craft myself up a nanny. Which would mean I would no longer have to stand around imprinting my dinos like some peasant. And while waiting for my hair to grow, I went back to my personal favorite activity, breeding for mutations. Because I love doing this so much. And to finish the day off, we farmed up more paste. On day 143, me and my Spino went out on a killing spree. No dino would be safe. It's kill on sight. Doesn't matter if you're in the land, sea, sky. Hell, you could even be in Mario 64. And bodies would drop. And once my Spino was done channeling its inner Terminator, we returned to the ocean to farm up more Silica Pearls. Day 144 started out with me and my boy Terrence doing a quick little metal run. And once we were done with that, we started to raise up a new batch of Spinos to fight the Alpha Dragon. The reason why I'm not bringing the old boss Spinos to fight the Alpha Dragon is because he has a fire attack. That takes 25% of your dino's HP away. I don't know who thought that was a fun and fair idea, but this is ARK, and no fun is allowed. So I spent the rest of the day raising up and imprinting the new Spino army. Day 145, and we continue to raise up our new batch of Spinos. And if you're curious about the stats we're rocking, here you go. These boys are gonna be absolute units. Gonna need a name for them, though. I'm thinking the Mighty Spinos. You get it? Because... Because Mighty Ducks, please laugh. And after making that terrible joke, I went back to my favorite activity in ARK. Hide gathering. Yeah, hide gathering. Woo! Look at all this hide right here. I'm the king of hide. But after calming myself down, it was time to focus. Because our next boss fight was upon us. No, not the Alpha Dragon. The Alpha Monkey. Now, the Alpha Monkey isn't as intimidating as the Alpha Broodmother. And the reason is, he's pretty much a glass cannon. Or as I like to call him the one bang boss because while he has the strength of a runaway truck he can also be neutralized by a water balloon you left in the freezer overnight so what i'm saying is it's a good thing we made up all those op saddles and on day 146 we arrived at the boss terminal but before we fight the alpha monkey i once again had to line up all my spinos on this stupid small platform but eventually I was able to line them all up and now it's time to go back home to base because I forgot to get the food for the pig. 
Damn it. So after getting the food for the pig, we returned to the boss terminal, and it was time to fight our second alpha boss. And like I said before, while I may not be worried about this fight as much as I was with the alpha brood mother, this is still a boss, and it deserves the respect that comes with it. But with this army I got right here, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Please let me be right. Now I know my last plan for a boss fight was pretty lackluster, but this time, I had myself a real plan. I was gonna run up to the pissed off monkey, shoot it with a shotgun, and then run for my life. And then once the monkey made its way down, I was gonna let the spinos do all the rest. Absolute genius plan! Well, at least I hope. Alright, there you go, they're all hitting. Ow, oh, that does a lot. Come on, boys. All right, they're all powered up. Where's Pix at? Oh, Pix is fighting in there. Oh, Pix is gonna die. I forgot to put him on passive. All right, there we go. Oh, we're melting him. We're melting him. Oh, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. Come on. Come on. All right, we got this. We got this. There we go. All right, there we go. Now more circling in. There we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, let's go. I forgot to put you on passive healing. You ding dong. Well, what did I tell you guys? I told you from the start that this fight was gonna be a piece of cake. I wasn't worried at all for a second. Look at my boys. My army didn't even break a sweat fighting that thing. And this also marks the second alpha boss we have taken down. The alpha brood mother and the alpha monkey. So we only have one more alpha boss left before we can take on the alpha overseer. And that's, that's the dragon. And ho, oh, I am not excited about this fight but I still have some time left to prepare before we fight the dragon so I left back to base to do just that and once we got back to base I started preparing for the alpha dragon fight by leveling up our new spino army day 147 and we continue to level up our new spino army by uh killing other spinos look don't judge me okay it wasn't my choice to have baby spinos give so much XP if if you want to blame somebody, blame Wildcard. Day 148, and would you look at that? Something new happened. We got another Spino Mutant. Nothing wrong with getting our Spino army a little stronger. And that was the only exciting thing to happen that day because the rest of the day was just spent leveling. Day 149, and you'll never guess what we did today. More leveling. Yay! Day 150! Oh, would you look at that? We're still leveling up our Spinos. But it wasn't all too bad because we did get ourselves another Spino mutation. And to finish the day off, we crafted up more shotgun shells. Because if all else fails, I still got me a boomstick. Day 151 started out like all the other days. We were just chilling, leveling up our Spino. And then suddenly, time froze. I was stuck there, just staring at the back of my Spino, with no reason as to why time stopped. Yeah, no, I just decided to pause and take a little break from the game, because man, this shit can get boring. Day 152, and I decided I was gonna take a little break from leveling up my Spinos, because I was slowly losing my sanity, and decided to play around with the assault rifle I got from a loot drop. And let's just say, I found the perfect test target. Are you boys ready? Are you guys ready? In three, two, one, go! Die, stupid Trudan! Die! <sighs> so, good news, this gun is a thing of beauty. The bad news, I really do think I lost my sanity. Oh well, back to leveling. So I think you guys have a good idea on how the next few days are gonna go. So I'ma jump right to day 158. We leveled up all the boss spinos, we pack in all the heat. The only thing left to do was gather up all my artifacts and dino drops to fight the alpha dragon. But this is where we had a slight problem. Because in order to fight the thing, you need two giga hearts. Yeah, that's an issue. Because if I'm being honest, this thing is overpowered as shit. But if we need two hearts to fight the alpha dragon, so 
be it. But not before I make myself some soups. Because like I said, we're trying to fight the alpha dragon. It's gonna be hot in there. And after I made myself some soup, I hopped on my bird and began the search for the Giga. And after a little bit of flying around, we found ourselves our first Giga. Not sure why it looks like I just downed an entire crayon box, but I'm not gonna judge. So now we begin our plan. But I'm not gonna try to 1v1 this thing, because that would be a quick end to this challenge. Challenge, and I refuse to die because my two brain cells decided to be a good idea to fight the fucking thing. So I thought of the next best thing. I was gonna lure it down to the ocean and drown it. But apparently the Giga had other plans because it kept swimming the shore. Why are you running? Why are you running? But eventually I was able to lure it out far enough. And after a bit of waiting around, we got our first heart. And now we gotta do it again. Fuck. Day 159 was spent looking for the last Giga I needed, but since I'm not allowed to have anything good in this game, I didn't find it. Man, I love this game. Day 160 and I finally found the last Giga we needed, and much like before, the only thing I had to do was lure it down to the ocean, wait for it to drown, and when it did, we grabbed its heart. And just like that, we now have all the trophies and artifacts we need to fight the Alpha Dragon. And oh boy, is this gonna be a fight. In my honest opinion, I think this dragon, straight out of Game of Thrones, is the hardest boss on the island. Simply because of its fire attack, that no matter how much HP you got, it will bleed you down. And this is why when you go into the Alpha Dragon fight, you gotta take it down as fast as possible or you're screwed but this is where i feel some semblance of hope because my spinos can throw hands faster than any dino in this game but will it be enough i don't know but what i do know is that it's now or never if we want any shot at the alpha overseer we gotta go through this boy first so after lining up all the spinos we were ready to head back to base once again why because i forgot we needed tentacles to fight the dragon Dragon. Damn it. Okay, so now we are ready to fight the dragon. We have all the trophies and artifacts. The boys are ready. The healing pig is ready. All we have to do now is click on the alpha dragon and start the countdown. The strategy for this boss fight is to wait for the dragon to land. And when it does, deal all the damage we can. And then put our boys on passive before the dragon can lure them into the lava. And if all goes well, this will be the final stepping stone to fight the alpha over. Seer. And if it doesn't, it would be our last boss fight. So please let this work. A little disclaimer for this boss fight. I didn't talk that much during it because I was just so stressed out about beating this boss. So if you're wondering why there's not much commentary, it's because at this point I was scared out of my mind. Ow. All right, boys, attack! Attack! Oh! Come on. Getting your bipedal forms, boys. There you go. Die! Oh my god, come on. We're doing good damage. Oh, one go. There goes one. All right, it flew. Heal, heal everything. It was at this point in the fight where I started to feel a, a little hope in my chest. Things were looking good. The dragon was on half HP and my Spino army, despite losing one, was still going strong. So you know what? I'm gonna say it. I think we got this fight in the bag and there is absolutely no way this could go wrong. Oh my god, attack! 
Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, never mind. Things are going very bad for us right now. This is what I get for actually, you know, having hope in this game. My army of 18 Spinos just went down to like 10 in 5 seconds. And with the rate they're dropping, this isn't looking good. But we're far too deep into this to back down now. But at this point, we're too far deep. We ain't backing down. The only thing we can do is press forward and take this dragon down at least i hope come on come on the last of you hang strong please please yes personal inventory transfer all 11 we got 11 of them Oh my god, we did it. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> yes! Oh, fuck you! Let's go! And that's how you do it, people. The Alpha Dragon has been taken down. Whew, if I'm being honest, I thought we were gonna die back there. I mean, things are looking so good for us, and then everything went to shit real quick but we were able to do what many thought was impossible take down the alpha dragon with a bunch of spinos it came at a heavy cost but the boys were able to do it and the ones who fell will forever be remembered but we don't have time to sit around and celebrate because now we gotta prepare for the final boss the overseer which means we got a lot of stuff to do and one of those things is to rebuild a new army to take on the overseer and so i put the remaining spinos away and went back home to base and once we returned back to base i put all the element and alpha trophies away and then we went to go do another hide run because we're going to need a lot more spino saddles day 162 we returned back to base after gathering all the hide we could ever need Okay, that was a lie. We're probably gonna need a lot more. And the next thing we did was to start unlocking some tech engrams. I held off on doing this because I wanted to wait until we defeated the Alpha Dragon. And let's just say, there is a lot of fun stuff to be made. But before we do that, I went on a quick metal run. Because man, this shit is expensive. And once we were done with that, we returned back to base and made our first S Plus tech replicator. And man, look at this bad boy right here it's so big why is it so big you know what it doesn't even matter because once we place this bad boy down we made our first pieces of tech armor gonna be flying around like like batman yeah i'm batman i am the greatest detective on this island but unfortunately we couldn't craft up the full set because we need a lot more black pearls and man are these things rare to find but fortunately for us if you remember in the first 100 days we left a decent stash of black pearls on the shore of the easy water cave so my next plan was to go over there and collect up my black pearls day 163 and we arrived at the shore of the easy water cave to grab the black pearls we stored away and once we were able to grab them and put them safely in my bird we then went into the ocean to try to find some more black pearls and the way you get black pearls in the ocean is you have to hunt down some underwater sea scorpions and let me tell you these things are not easy to find it took me 30 minutes to scouring the ocean floor just to find two of these things and we hardly got any black pearls so i abandoned my search and went back home to base to finish up making Making the rest of my tech suit oh yeah check me out now boys look at me flying around like some kind of superhero Woo! I am Groot <clears throat> sorry about that so after flying around in my new tech suit I finally got back to work in creating our last spino army to fight the overseer the results of 30 plus mutations into health and melee to make the ultimate spinos the ones that will carry me to ultimate victory 
I hope. And to help me raise up these spinos, I was finally able to get myself a nanny to help me with the imprinting. And the rest of day 163 was dedicated to raising up the final spino army. Day 164 started out with us doing some more spino imprinting. We also went on a little meat run because we can't have our boys starving out here. Once we were done with that, I made two more of the strange purple liquid, put all our level ups in the crafting skill, and used that to make some really good armor and then the rest of the spino saddles but since these bad boys are so expensive I had to go back to the swamp cave to replenish our cementing paste supply. Now this was supposed to be a nice and easy cementing paste run with my boy Kermit. But little did I know that things were about to get very bad. I gotta leave the cave. I'm gonna die. 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 I hate Arthoplora so much. Ooh, yeah, okay, that was a little bit too close. Whose bright idea was it to give giant prehistoric centipedes the ability to spit acid? Who? Well, now we got a situation on our hands, because our supposedly easy swamp cave run just almost got us killed. And worst of all, my boy Kermit is still in there. But we gotta go back for him, because we leave no frog behind. There's only one thing left to do. It's time to commence Operation Saving Private Kermit. First step, fix our gas mask. Step two, head back to the swamp cave. Step three, use Big Bertha to kill everything that moves until we are able to reach Kermit. Step four, grab Kermit and then get the hell out of that cave. Oh, I really hope we don't have to go back there again. Day 166 started off with me once again leveling up a new Spino army. And I am so happy to be doing this again. I also decided it was time to start painting my armor because if I'm gonna fight the Alpha Overseer, I gotta be looking spiffy out here. I can't be looking basic. I then decided to take a trip over to the Dead Island to try to find more alphas to kill so I could level up my chibi. But I didn't find any and I pretty much wasted an entire day. Yay. Day 167 started off with more Spino leveling. And uh, and that was it. Yeah, these next few days are gonna be pretty boring. And would you look at that, I was right, because it took me till day 175 to finally get the Spino army fully leveled up. Whew, with the amount of Spinos I leveled up in this video, I'm gonna have like nightmares for a month straight of just, just Spinos. So many Spinos. But that doesn't matter now because we are almost ready to fight the Overseer. But there's just a few more things we need to do. One of those things involves breeding up another Uteranus. You know, just in case something goes wrong in the cave. And you know, knowing my luck, probably will. And the next thing I wanted to do was try to find a better Deodon saddle for my healing pig. And the only way to get a better pig saddle is to go to the easier hard water cave to farm some loot drops. So Perry and I went over to the hard Hardwater cave to try to find a better pig saddle. Day 176 and we arrived at the hard water cave to try to find a better saddle for my healing pig. But since this is Ark, I didn't find it. I did however find me a real nice pair of flak pants. So positives? But since I still wanted a good Deodon saddle, I tried my luck over at the Easy Water Cave and I got nothing as well. Man, this game is so much fun. So once I got over my shitty luck, I decided I was gonna lure the Alpha Megalodon out of the hard water cave so I can kill it and get some free levels. But since this Alpha is damn near level 300, it took me a long time to get it low enough to where I could kill it with my character and get me a few extra level ups. And to finish the day off, we got ourselves an extra UD for the tech cave. Day 177 and I decided I wanted to have me an extra healing pig when I go into the Alpha Tech Cave because it's like the saying goes, it's never too bad to have a second healing pig. Wait, do people actually say that? So I spent most of day 177 raising up the second healing pig, which I promptly named Pork, and then I spent the rest of the day leveling it up. Day 178, and we're only a few more days away from going into the Alpha Tech Cave. 
But before we do that, there's still a few more things we need to do. And one of those things is get a little bit more element. And the way I'm gonna get more is by fighting the alpha monkey one more time. However, there's just a few items we need to gather, and one of those is the Artifact of the Massive, which at this point, it's just too easy to get. The next item I needed to get was some Thylacolio Claws from the Redwoods, which was also pretty easy to get. And with those items, we were all ready to fight the Alpha Monkey. The only thing left for us to do was to fly over to the Blue Obelisk and deploy our Spino Army, but midway through getting the boys all set up i realized something i forgot to bring my yudi with me shit okay now i'm ready to fight the alpha monkey one more time i'm not gonna try to hype this fight up as i did before because let's be honest the monkey is the easiest of the three boss fights but as the saying goes anything can happen when fighting a roided out gorilla okay yeah i know people don't say that you know what enough stalling let's do this Alright, we don't want to waste any time, so let's start. You're there. Follow me. Let's get you all encouraged up. Go ham, boys. Go ham. Alright, we're going to shred him. We got this. Oh, yeah, we got this. He's he's going down so quick. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, let me watch my food. I'm at my, hung my health, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at us smacking the shit out of him. Go, boys, go. One more roar to top off all of you, and you're good. And dead. Nice. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a pit of death right there. You fall on that, you're dead. Woo! It's like I said, boys. This fight ain't nothing. I told you this was the easiest out of the three boss fights, and you thought I was lying. This is the easiest 220 element you're ever gonna see a man get. And with that victory, I headed back to base to begin the final preparations for the Alpha Tech. Okay, I'm doing this way too much. Day 179, and well, today is the day. I finished up leveling our UD, got the Spino Army all potted up and ready to go. Today, we were going into the Alpha Tech Cave. Yeah, I'm not doing that joke again. This is where all our hard work, ever since we stepped foot on this island, would be tested. The grinding, the leveling, all the boss fights, and especially all those hours spent on mutations. Everything we've done was for our eventual fight with the Alpha Overseer. But before we could fight it, we got one last obstacle to go through. So there was nothing left to do except hop on my bird, say goodbye to my base, and begin what very well could be our final flight of this series. And while me and my bird were busy flying to the volcano i couldn't help but just stop and think of everything we've been through And with that trip down memory lane out of the way, we finally arrived at the tech cave. I did a quick checklist just to make sure I didn't forget anything. I went through all the items we brought, put all the alpha trophies into the terminal, and with nothing left to do, we activated it. Now thankfully, I did think of a plan for the tech cave instead of running in blind. The first part of the plan involved leaving the UD and Deodons at the top of the tech cave to keep them safe until we fully cleared it out. The next part of my plan involved getting all my Spinos out of their soul balls before the timer hit zero, which was another useful thing the Dino Storage mod allows me to do. But as the timer got closer and closer to zero, I was starting to panic. I didn't have enough room to throw out all my Spinos, so I quickly hopped on one and tried to clear out some room. But apparently I forgot to set one of my Spinos to passive, because it just went full steam ahead into the hostile mob of Dinos. You will be forever 
missed, you legendary Spino. And that Spino sacrifice was not in vain, because we were able to throw them all out before the timer hit zero. And with my army all ready to go, I hopped on one of my Spinos, had another one follow me as backup, and it was time to clear this cave out. To make life a little easier for me, I was gonna try to lure as many dinos as I could into the lava when I get the chance. This way I wouldn't have to do so much fighting, especially if we run into any gigas. But since we're doing this on alpha, we're definitely gonna run into a few. But enough of all this exposition, I think it's time we clear this cave out. I wanna bring all of you guys over here. Oh yeah, nope, you're not taking me, Capro. Alright, Rex, you wanna throw some hands? Okay. Once you reach this point, I wanna see... Alright, I think we got most of them that we could have sniped down there. Okay, this next one is just a, a bunch of aloes, but we can take them. There's Prolovios right there. Hopefully that got some of them out. Alright, that got a few out. Okay, I wonder. Is there any way I can pull... Because there is an... I don't rather... Oh! Well, that guy's in a lava. Yep, come on, guys. All of you, go in the lava. It's fun, family-friendly fun. Alright. Can I get that Rex to fall in? No, I'm not. I'm not even gonna attempt fate. I'm just gonna fight a mano a mano. Okay, you can harvest that. Beautiful. Okay, if I can avoid these guys without fighting them, greatly appreciate that. The main threat I'm looking for is the Giga. Where is that Giga at? Hey, all that's dead shit. What the hell? No, that's this rock. So I definitely do not want to fight them on their turf. I want to fight them all on my terms, i.e. I lead them into this corridor. So what I'm thinking, pop shot, pop shot, get on, and let's fight them here. You guys want to rumble in the jungle? That noise scared me badly. Okay, uh... Alright, that one's out of the ground. Let's get ready to fight him. <sighs> oh. Do not want to let this guy under me, and he's under me. That's just bad. Get out. Nope. You stay away. I knew we were going to do some dumb shit. There you go. They're all in the water now. I'm in the lava. Well, they're all gonna die in a second. Don't have to worry about them. Oh wow, look at all of them going. I love that. It's just a mano e mano fight with this guy. All right, no problem. We just gotta take our time here. We are playing on single player, so there isn't a time limit. I know on official we'll be like timed in under an hour, but I'm not gonna rush it. I'm gonna take my sweet time with what the game is giving me. Smack you. All right, move forward, bud. Alright, there's another guy coming. Oh wow, we're almost there. What the hell? I thought there was supposed to be a Giga here. Gotta have a little boxing match with these Therizinos. Oh, that's the Giga. Well, this makes things a lot trickier from here. That right there is just a jump off. There's no lava. Before we try any of that shenanigans, I want to bring the rest of the guys that are up there down here. So, let's go back up and get the rest of them. Well, I don't think I need to explain the next part of my plan since past me already said it. But if you're one of the few people wondering why I just didn't have all my Spinos follow me at once, you're gonna see why very soon. And if you're also wondering why I just didn't use the Soul Gun mod to put all my Spinos away until we reached the end of the cave, it's because I felt 
that would be a little bit too cheaty. And with that little bit of exposition out of the way, it was time to do the hardest part of this tech cave. Getting all my dinos to follow me down to the end of the cave without them jumping into the lava. I decided I was going to do this in bunches to make it easier for me and my dinos. Since this game's following mechanics might as well turn dinos into a drunk Stevie Wonder whenever faced with a sharp turn. So with that thought in mind, I made sure I was going to take this as slow as I possibly could to make sure all my spinos made it to the end of the tech cave so we could fight the overseer. But even with taking things as slow as possible, it was still extremely stressful to do. But eventually, I was able to get our first batch of spinos to the end of the tech cave. However, I still had to deal with the two gigas that were blocking the way towards the overseer terminal. So I used the same strategy as before, which was to shoot at them from an angle and have them run right into the lava. Heh. <laughs> sucker. And to make sure I didn't get insta karma, I ran back up to the top of the tech cave to bring down the rest of my spino army. It took me longer than I would like to admit to get my spino army down to the bottom of the tech cave, mostly because this game's following mechanics might as well have been made by a crippled sloth. Hell, at one point I got so fed up with it that I just had them all follow me at once, and whichever ones didn't fall into the lava, congrats, you made it. And with that little rant out of the way, we finally arrived at the end of the tech cave. And huh, that was a pretty interesting edit. Why didn't I show me and my spino army walking up the ramp to the overseer terminal? Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to record again. Whoo! <sighs> how many times have I done that this video? Well, for those of you who are wondering what happened, you didn't miss much. All that happened was that I walked my spinos up the ramp, and a few of them decided they had enough of my shit and decided to jump off. And you know what? I don't blame them. And since I wasn't gonna bother getting them, I just decided to activate the terminal right now and go fight the overseer right after the countdown because I forgot there was one. Shit. Well, boys, we're finally here. This right here is the home of the Alpha Overs. Yeah, I'm not doing that joke again. He's been watching us from day one, from making our first base, from taking on our first wild dino, to us fighting all the Alpha bosses. Wait, that also means he was watching us run along the beach in my underwear. Well, that's not creepy or anything. Ignoring that little revelation, I got all my spinos to follow me, and we did our final march to the arena. And while we were doing that, I was trying to get myself mentally hyped up for the last fight of this series. Were the boys and I gonna be able to take this bad boy down? Especially since it can transform into all the bosses, which includes a certain dragon we barely beat. So you know, there's no pressure or anything, but there's no point in second guessing myself, since once I step down this ramp the door locks behind us and we begin the final fight so without further ado let's do this there he is boys the final boss of the island the one the only alpha overseer Woo! let's get this shit started everyone in on it Everyone attack! Attack! Oh, we are shredding that fucking thing! Oh. Oh, we're fine. Okay, we just gotta keep moving. We gotta keep moving with it. Okay, um, neutral! Attack back! I need to back up, get away. I need to keep moving, because of those attack rooms above my head. Monkey! Go in on the monkey! Everyone attack! Attack the monkey! Oh, we are shredding that thing! Oh! Yep, alright, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Come on! We got this, boys! Fuck it up after it! Go after it! Go after it! Oh, look at this thing. We are shredding it! Go, Spinos! Go! Everyone in on it! Everyone in on it! Go, 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 go! Oh, I've been hit. 
Oh, I've been stunned. I have been the stunned. Oh shit, I'm, I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Everyone get it? Oh my god, I keep getting stunned. Okay, it may look like we are doing good now, but all it takes is one dragon and we are screwed. You know what? Fine, clean up, clean up the area, clean up the area. Come on, boys! Oh, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh god, I need to get on the mount, I need to get on the mount, I need to get on something. Uh, Karen! Come on, guys, come on! Yep, there we go. That's the damage. Oh, no. It's the dragon. Oh, we got him early. Everyone in on him. Everyone take him out. Take him out. Take out the dragon as fast as you can. He's weaker than the dragon, but his fire does the same. Oh, we killed it. We killed it. We killed it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, this is going better than I expected it to. I honestly thought by the time the Overseer transformed into the Alpha Dragon, half my army would already be dead. But no, the boys are still going strong. All thanks to the power of the Healing Pig. Now the only thing we have to do is keep this pace up, and we should take the Overseer down. Everyone surround it! Surround it! Oh my god, we are actually gonna do this thing! Come on, everyone group up, group up with me! Oh, some spinos are suffering damage. Oh my- Oh, it turned right away, it turned right away. Oh, that's not good. Who is it turning into? What is it turning into? Broodmother! Everyone in on the Broodmother! Go, 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 go! Come on, guys, we gotta get in! Oh, the Deodon's in there healing! Good work, boy! Nice! Nice, let's go! Oh no, we're stuck, we're stuck. This is not the exact- This is not the thing I wanted. I gotta get out, I gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out. Oh, it's turning into something. Oh, no! Karen! I need to get on something! Okay, oh, I can't find Karen. Oh, wow, you're hurt, you're hurt. Um, everybody, everybody in, everybody in! Oh, no. That's one down. Nice! Oh my god, this is it. This is the last stretch. We're gonna do it! Come on! So before this next clip plays out, I'm gonna do you guys a solid. You're gonna wanna turn your volume down a little bit. YES! YEAH! Woo! Woo! Well, boys, what's left to say except we did it! Woo! We took down the Alpha Overseer. Who I'ma be honest with you boys. I thought we were gonna die back there. Especially when it transformed into the dragon. Not once, but twice. But the army was able to stand strong. Which was mostly due to the fact that I brought in two healing pigs into the tech cave. And with that said, it's time to sit back and let's watch this cutscene together. Back here, huh? Oh, I took my tech gear! No! Well, boys, what's left to say except we fucking did it. We accomplished our goal of taking down the Alpha Overseer and proving that we are the undisputed Big Daddy Cheese of the Island. And man, was this harder than I thought it was going to be. But the boys didn't let me down, and I never once lost faith in our Spino army. Okay, yeah, that last part was a lie. There were plenty of times where I doubted them. But you know what? That doesn't matter now, because like I just said, we beat 
eat the island. And well, there's nothing much more to it than that. So before I end off this video, I just want to say one last thing. And that is thank you to everyone who stuck around to watch the end of this video. These Ark 100 Days videos take a lot of work and a lot of time to make. So while my channel may not be solely based around Ark 100 Days, I'll still be sprinkling in some Ark 100 Days videos every now and then. And that's for the simple reason of I just don't want to get burned out of this game too quickly because this is one of my favorite games. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.